And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis is on board. Computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 13. 11. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. We have both main engines start. 2. 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis, building the station and our future in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roger roll, Atlantis. Atlantis into the roll, the external tank camera placing the shuttle in a heads down wing with wings level position for that eight and a half minute ride to orbit. The Florida Space Coast disappearing as uh, Atlantis moves into the correct azimuth for orbit. Thirty-three seconds into the flight. First condensation pouring over the top of the orbiter as the three liquid fuel main engines begin to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. Forty-nine seconds into the flight. Atlantis already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, throttling up. You are go and throttle up. Roger. The throttle up call from Capcom Ken Ham, acknowledged by Commander Jeff Ashby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Pam Melroy, flight engineer Sandy Magnus, and mission specialist Pierce Sellers, Dave Wolf, and Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. This view from long-range trackers at Playa Linda Beach, north of the Kennedy Space Center, and now the external tank camera view once again. Atlantis 11 and a half miles downrange, 17 miles in altitude, traveling 2,800 miles per hour. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight, about 20 seconds prior to solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlantis is on board computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff.